Good morning, Pope Francis. Please stand for prayer and pledge to the flag. Good morning. My name is Andrew Mason from the Christian Leadership Class. Today is the feast day of St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael is the leader of all angels and the leader of the army of God. He is the first to combat Satan and is who we pray to for, prote for protection. The prayer I will be reading today is directly to him. This prayer is important to me because my family would always say it before bed and before I would go to school. This prayer has always made me feel safe as I would go throughout my day. As um, we begin this day in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Please face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for announcements. Today's rotation is DABC, and today is National VFW Day. On September 29th, National VFW Day honors the men and women devoted to this valuable organization and those members who have served our nation. Members of the organization named Veterans of Foreign Wars today hold a long-standing history of volunteerism in their communities. Not only have they served their country, but they continue to serve their fellow veterans, families, and communities by sponsoring scholarships, career fairs, mental wellness campaigns, and so many more excellent services. Any Invite student? Dr. Harrington. Doc, Dr. Harrington has an announcement that he would like to make. So this is, so Dr. Harrington. Thanks, Max. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to those of you at home. Here. And a special good morning to those of you back in school today. A uh, couple of things before we get started. I want to welcome you back. Uh, certainly there are many exciting things to look forward to right now. Um, one of which is being back with your friends. Another is learning in person in the classroom. And starting today, we are beginning fall sports. And I know for a large percentage of our students, that is a very, very big part of returning to campus. So with that, um, the excitement of fall sports begins today. I wanted to remind you of a few <laughs> things. Uh, in order to be back today, you and your parents had to sign a COVID code of conduct. And really what that was are all of the rules and regulations around COVID, testing for COVID, quarantining if you need to quarantine, and condensed all of that into one document to make sure that students and parents understand it. So I'm gonna quickly review the, the, the points that you signed off on and make sure everyone's on the same page. The first one is that uh, the obvious is now that we're back, you're agreeing to abide by all of our social distancing policies and our COVID policies with mask wearing, <clears throat> um, one-way traffic in the, in the hallways, good hand hygiene and so forth, which you've done a great job and proved to us in early September, you could do it. Uh, the second one is a reminder that what you do off campus impacts what happens on campus. Uh, we can't control your behaviors and your actions at nights and on weekends, but we are asking that you behave off campus in similar ways to what we do here at school by practicing the same social distance and COVID guidelines. A close contact, when we had a few members of our community get sick, uh, quickly we started to identify close contacts. A close contact is somebody that is within six feet of that person for at least 15 minutes. Um, you may be identified by a health board in a city or a town, or you might self-identify as a close contact. If you're a close contact, what you signed off on is you need to seek a COVID test. If you seek a COVID test, you cannot, cannot come back to school until we know the result of the test. You can't come back to school and wait for a COVID result. 
or we have to send you home and perhaps send everybody home. So moving forward, starting today, if you are out, out sick for any reason related to COVID, you've tested, you don't feel good related to COVID, you need to fill out what's called a re-entry form. And the form goes to Mrs. Jackson, our nurse. And the reasons you would do that is if you tested for COVID while you're waiting for your test result, you can't come back and you can't come back to fill out the form. Or you've been a close contact and you had to quarantine for 14 days at home. You can't come back until you fill out the re-entry form. Or of course, if you tested positive, you can't come back until you follow the doctor's orders and fill out the re-entry form. Or if you have symptoms of COVID, maybe you haven't tested yet or you tested negative, but the policy stands that you need to follow the rules in the document and fill out the form before you can come back. And the last one is of course, the travel restrictions. There are several states on the naughty list for Massachusetts. If you travel to one of those states on the naughty list, you cannot come back unless you follow the rules of having a test and fill out our re-entry form or you cannot be here. The bottom line is, if you do this, it's gonna work. We had three great weeks together and we had a couple weeks remote. I'm pretty confident that we can be here for the long term as long as everyone behaves and follows the policies that we have set forth. It's not rocket science. I know you can do it, you've done it. And we're just asking now that you're back that you remember how we operate under COVID uh, terms, COVID rules. If you have questions about this or don't understand it, it is on the website. Your parents got a copy of it when they submitted it, <clears throat> but you could always ask Mrs. Jackson in the nurse's office. You can ask Mrs. Geiger, you can ask me, um, but we're in this together. We've been in it together since March and it's not over anytime soon from what we can see. So please continue to do your part um, again, I welcome you back to our home learners. Welcome uh, again, I guess. Not a whole lot has changed for our home learners, um, but it's good to see you on the Zoom this morning. And again, if you have any questions, please ask. Um, things are gonna be different now with sports starting up. There's gonna be a lot more opportunity to, to be close together, um, to have closer contact, less social distance, but rules still apply. All of our student athletes, if coaches haven't, already discussed with you through email, some of the rules, you're gonna learn a lot of that today, but there are many, many new rules related to our, our sports programs. So welcome back Cardinals, it's good to see you here. The building feels much better this morning having you um, on campus. So again, welcome back and we're happy to see you. Have a great day. Any students, faculty, or staff who wish to be a part of the blessing of the animals should send a picture of themselves with their pets to Mr. A by the end of Wednesday. Colleges visiting this week include Florida Institute of Technology, St. Anselm's College, Emmanuel College, Lemoyne College, Catholic University, Massachusetts Maritime Academy, Xavier University, Rensel Rensselaer College, Polytechnic Institute, Fairfield University, Stonehill College, St. Ah, John's University, College of the Holy Cross, St. Leo University, Colby College, Elms, Worcester Polytechnic U Institute, University of Massachusetts Amherst. Yearbooks have arrived and they can be picked up after school from the front office. Today is a DABC rotation with, with B period one. So first lunch, Ms. Ms. Walsh and Mr. Bresnahan, second lunch, Mr. Dewey and Mrs. Harrington, and third lunch, Ms. Ms. Shirbelli and, Ms. and Mr. Nelson. The quote of the day today is, take it easy. Remember, we don't shame flowers for being too big or too little, too short or too tall, too pink or too red. We just embrace them for their unique beauty. Contra Aurora. That's all for today, Pope Francis. Have a great day.